Welcome back to the Maths Guy, everybody. Today we're going to be looking at how to square a number, so let's jump into it. Okay, the first thing we need to understand is that squaring a number is essentially just multiplying the number by itself. So let's have a look at what that means, and let's have a look at this question here. We have 3 squared. So 3 squared is asking me to multiply this number by itself. So before we do that, let's just understand what these parts of the question are. The three is what we call the base, and the two, the exponent. And what I'm trying to do when squaring is multiply my base by itself, the amount of times the exponent is telling me to. So in this case, I'm multiplying three by three. So my number sentence will look like three multiplied by three. And we obviously know that three times three is nine. So my answer to three squared is nine. But at this point, I want to show you what this actually means and why it's called squared. So I want to build a square here, and my square is going to have a width of 3 and a length of 3. Now, if I get my square, and now I cut it into its widths and length, so I've got three vertical squares and three horizontal, I can now see that my internal amount of squares equals 9. And that's essentially what we've just done. We've squared our number. So another way of thinking about how to square a number is how many squares would fit into that larger square if that large square has a width and length of our base number. So in this case, our base number was 3. So I've done a width and a length of 3, cut my square into those individual squares, and I got 9 as my answer. Let's have a look at it with another example. I have five squared. Now at this point, I want to share with you a very common mistake that people can make. In this scenario, a lot of people would multiply five times two because they think they multiply the base by the exponent. And that's going to give us an answer of 10, which we can obviously see is wrong straight away. So my number sentence should actually read five multiplied by five. And five times five is 25. Let's prove it again by building my square. One, two, three, four, five in length and five in width. And now if I cut this up into the individual squares, I can see that my internal amount of squares equals 25, proving that five times five is 25 and that five squared is also 25. So hopefully this makes sense to you that five squared is essentially saying that we get a square with length and width of five and basically work out how many smaller squares we can chop that into using those measurements. Let's have a look at our last one, and we're going to do this without building up our square. We're going to do this the quick way. 9 squared is the same as saying 9 multiplied by 9, and 9 nines are 81. So the answer to 9 squared is 81. And if I was to take the time and build up my big square, we would be able to prove that. Okay, so what do we need to remember about how to square a number? Squaring a number is multiplying it by itself. And also, we call it squared because it is the result of chopping a square into those smaller squares. So now it's your turn. Have a go at trying to answer these three questions. Put your answers into the comments section, and I'm going to try and mark them all. Good luck. And there we have it. That is everything you need to know on how to square a number. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be making daily videos to help you with everything you need to know maths. But for now, peace out.